Hello, my dear students. We are welcome once more to our online college today on biology SS1. I remain Sister Mary Aniago. Topic for the day: population studies by sampling method. It starts by saying the meaning of population. The commonest definition for population in ecology. A population is the total number of individuals of a given species in a habitat at a given time. Or you can define it as a total number of organisms of the same species living together in a given area at a particular time. It must be a different species and there must be it must be a given time and in a particular place. Now I'm talk of population density. I hope you are listening. Population density is defined as the number of individual organisms, the unit area or volume of the habitat. Mathematically, population density is expressed as total population or population size over area of habitat. I repeat, total population or population size over area of habitat. Population density can be used to estimate the total number of individual species of a population or population size. Mathematically, population density times area of habitat. We cannot say all this since we're talking about how some organisms dominate in a particular habitat. And when they dominate, their number increases and they cover most of the area in the habitat. We now go to factors affecting a population. A number of factors refer to as environmental resistance control the population of organism in a particular habitat. These factors can be classified as biotic or an abiotic. Abiotic factor have to do with the organisms. For example, heat, hot environment, water, space, light, nutrients. Why abiotic? Sorry, why biotic? Biotic factors are food, competition, natality, mortality, parasites, pathogens, dispersal in plants, predators. Those, these ones are the biotic. Why does of feed, temperature, and light are the abiotic factors, which affect organisms in their environment and it as well affects the population of organisms in their habitat. Instruments of collecting mobile specimens. We have so many instruments. We are going to mention these few. Sweeping nets, hand nets, and a puffer. Sweeping net is used to skim water surface to trap surface organisms. Used to trap flying insects. Hand net used to collect specimens from fresh water habitats. For example, ponds and rivers. Also used to collect insects from trees, from tree trunks and leaves. Fish traps used to collect fishes. Then a porter, which is used to collect small organisms from trees and substrate them. Incense net, which is used to collect fry, flying insects. The diagram of all these things, you will see them in your notes. The method of collecting specimen by sampling method. Sampling methods take many different forms 
and the one choosing will depend on various factors, including the species being studied. For static organisms, such as weed, plants, weeds in a field, on the sea shores, a quadrat is often used. You now have to go to study the principle on which the use of quadrat is based. One, quadrat is used for stationary organisms. At least 10 rules must be made. The size of the quadrat depends on the organism being sam sampled. Frequency of the species on that body is calculated. By recording the number of times the species in each row, in each row, for example, if 20 rows were made, and in each case the species under study occurred in all the rows, the frequency is main 20. But on the other hand, if it occurs in 12 rows, the frequency is 12. How do we calculate percentage frequency formula? Number of times statements occur times 100 over 1. Number of times statements occurred over number of truths times 100 over 1. For example, number of truths is equal to 20, frequency 12. Therefore, percentage frequency will give you take over 20 times 100 over 1 equals to 60%. This is the percentage frequency. You will get more examples from your notes. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If not, ask your questions. An assignment. Construct a quadrat with a wood. And what? Tell us or write a short biology note on capture recapture method. Make sure that you do your assignment and pass it before the next lesson. Thank you.